Hi, my name is Risa, and in this tutorial video, I'm going to walk you through the 2D Objects Face Template in Lens Studio. The 2D Objects Face Template provides a base for creating face lenses that attach to the art to your head. The template comes with a variety of example assets that can be toggled to try out different looks. Let's dive in. First, open Lens Studio and select the 2D Objects Face Template. In the Object panel, expand the 2D Objects examples. You can toggle the checkbox next to each scene object to mix and match. For example, let's try a different pair of sunglasses. You can play around with this example assets to customize your face lens. Because these objects are attached to your head, it will move with your head movements. You have access to all the image files of the example assets in the resources panel and the project's public folder. You can directly modify the textures in the public folder. You can also add your own 2D art to the template. First, I'm going to remove all the example assets since I'm not going to use them in my lens. Then drag and drop your own 2D asset into the resources panel. It's important to optimize your images as much as possible for lens size and performance reasons. For more information on how to optimize your 2D assets, check out the 2D optimization guide on the Lens Studio documentation page. Once you import your assets, you can start adding face sprites. In the Objects panel, select Add New Face Effects Face Sprite. Then change the base texture of the newly added sprite to your own texture. You are not limited to still images for face sprites. Feel free to use animated textures. Check out the 2D animation guide on Lens Studio documentation page for more details. You can select some common binding points using this drop-down list attached to point. When you create a face sprite, the scene panel automatically switches to 2D scene view. You can position and resize your sprite to fit the face. You can also rotate the sprite by hitting Alt on your keyboard while dragging. Use the preview panel as a good reference of the actual look in Snapchat. If you want to update the existing face sprite with a new texture, you can directly update the texture link from the resources panel. Once you're happy with the look of the lens, we can preview in Snapchat. Scan the snap code here and wait for a few seconds as it connects your device. Once it shows that your phone and lens studio are connected, you can then push your lens to device. Within a few seconds, you should see your lens inside Snapchat. This lens is now ready for submission. For more information on how to submit your lens, please follow the submission guide in the Lens Studio documentation page. Thank you so much for watching and have fun creating more lenses in Lens Studio.